outside is not that cold and if you take my hand I'll walk with you to Georgia Hello everyone and welcome back to Country with Celine. I know I've been on a hiatus, but I'm so happy to be back and I'm so happy to bring my first guest on the show, Chandler Stevens. Got my head spinning if we want to win it, got to back it on down to the speed limit. Just one shot, yeah, that's all we got tonight. If we take our time with the first kiss, I know we'll find Something we don't want to miss One second, one minute Let's back it on down To the speed limit Chandler, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So, you're the first person on Country with Celine after that two-month break because of uh, the playoffs, which are still going on. Um, are you a hockey fan? Or maybe not? Not like a crazy hockey fan my dad was an insane hockey fan um but I do like follow the Preds a little bit and I go to the games and things like that so yeah you know I've only heard very good things about Predators games and I want to go to one so badly like it sounds amazing they're a lot of fun a lot of fun yeah lots of uh, music too I saw lots of videos I'm like Got to get my ass over there one day. Um, but anyway, so let's talk about you. So first off, where are you from? I am from Lake Mary, Florida, which is like 30 minutes from Orlando area. Okay. And now are you currently residing in Nashville? Yes. Yeah. I've been here for the past, I, I keep saying eight years, but I think it's a little bit longer than that. The 2020 year, like kind of threw my counting off. So I think it's like eight and a half, probably maybe nine. Yes. I feel like that those COVID years doesn't even count at this point. <laughs> like, I think we've all kind of erased those years from our memory. Um, but Florida to Nashville. So you're like the third person um, that I know that has made that trek. Yeah. Why would you leave Florida? That's all I have to say. I mean, I understand country music. The heart of country music is Nashville. But like, Florida coming from a Canadian girl who wants to get her butt over to Florida and just live there permanently. I mean, how did, did you not have to really contemplate moving or was it kind of an easy, you know what, let's go. Yeah, I think for, for me, it was easier because I mean, I, I love Florida. I love the beach. I mean, I just, I do, I love it. But I think for me, it was I grew up there. So I was like, I want to see something different and, you know, try something different and the music aspect of it. Mm -hmm. It was very like, at first I feel like I never really thought of it as an option. So when I did, I was like, all right, let's go. Like just, and just did it. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, if you, you grew up there. So, I mean, when you grew up in some place, it's nice to experience different things. And yeah. Yeah. I'm coming from a different perspective, but I understand yours completely. Uh, now, what drew you to wanting a career in country music? Or is it something you were surrounded by growing up? Or was it something you kind of realized you wanted to do later on in life? Yeah, definitely later on. I, when I was little, I mean, I loved singing and sang in church and did all the plays, all those things but I never saw it as a career option really as I got older. So when I graduated high school, I went to college for a year in Florida. And I don't know, it just like, I was involved in music in that first year of college. And I just kind of was like, I'm not really happy doing this. I might as well just try. Because if I look back and I haven't tried, I'm gonna be like, why did I never just go for it? You never want to live a life with regrets. That's one thing you never want to do. Um, so if, if you know something, what you want to do, you just got to put your feet in and just go for it. Um, and to be completely honest, I feel like a lot of people need, need to hear this from time to time. It's so hard to figure out exactly what you want to do, uh, let alone gun for it. If it's something completely out of the blue and some, it's not a normal, normal occupation, like a lawyer or a doctor or whatever it is. When it's something involved with the entertainment industry, it's kind of like, you're crazy. And yeah, exactly. It, yeah. Because it's, it's such a crazy industry. I mean, one day you're it, the next day you're not. But 
if you stay true to yourself and you know what you want to do, you'll be successful in life no matter what happens. And that's ultimately what our goal is after at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very true. I feel like I'm giving a full on speech to you. I feel so sorry. <laughs> oh. That was, that's amazing. I think everybody needs to hear that. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, some people forget from time to time. But let's talk about you now. So music. So you released one of your latest singles uh, called Speed Limit in March. So that was a few months ago. Surprisingly, 2022 was kind of flying by. And that was a duet with Caleb Austin. So tell me, how did this song come to life? Well, that's a song that I've had for a while. I wrote it with um Kane Brown and Anthony Smith about five years ago wow. now and I, I released a, another duet with Kane called Can't Stop Love that we wrote back then as well and that one came out and then we just kind of sat on speed limit because Kane was getting signed and it was just a crazy time for him mm -hmm. and so I was like all right we're just gonna sit on this one for a little while and we did and it's five years later and i'm like well i kind of want to release it i still really like it so let's you know see if we can find somebody to sing on it with me and so my producer was working with caleb and he was like i have this guy i listened to his voice and i was like this is perfect i think it'll work really well so we got together and redid the song and i got to release it so i would love to hear that song with kane on uh I feel like that should happen. That should be out there. Um, but nevertheless, with Caleb, it was it's still an awesome song. Uh, but speaking of Kane, so you guys go back, I'm assuming. Yeah, we, before he was signed, um, kind of, oh, I want to say like maybe five months before that, we met through, um, we had a mutual guy that we were working with at the time. And so we met through him and we did a couple rights and just things like that. So, um, so yeah, then now it's, now it's different, you know, I mean, he's crazy big and it's, you know, it's crazy, but, but yes. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. It's so surreal when you're an artist and you're starting out in the industry and it's like, you know, of another artist who is, somewhat at a different level than you are and then you have a mutual friend and you guys connect and it's like oh my god I'm actually talking to this person right now like I used to listen to your music like years ago and now I'm here it's it's such a surreal but like I guess humbling too at the same time feeling yeah it's crazy yeah but I would love to hear you guys do a duet in the future that's sh that should happen that should happen I would love that <laughs> yes we gotta put it on the universe uh now you have an upcoming six song EP that's going to be releasing soon. So can you share some detail on when exactly it's going to come out and what can fans expect? Yes. Um, not do, do not have a solid release date yet, but when I do, I will let you know. Um, but yes, we've been, this is just a, a group of songs that I've been working on for a really long time since mm. 2019, actually before the pandemic. And about to just kind of put them all together and wrap them all up in a nice bow and be like, all right, <laughs> all the songs. So yeah, I'm excited. But when I have a release date, I will definitely let you know. Yes, that's going to be super exciting. And it's so nice to finally grab all your songs and put them all together with a nice little bow, like you're saying, and ship it on out for the world to hear. Uh, but you also tease the song on your Instagram called Sugar High. So is that a song that we can be expecting to come out to? That, that was a bop. That was a bop. And the photo shoot that went with it was really nice too. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes, definitely expect that soon. Uh, definitely this summer. So well, probably next month, but... <laughs> Well, that's going to be exciting. Um, and talking about summer now, it's literally around the corner, which is so nice. But I mean, in Nashville, you guys have already been experiencing the heat. I've seen pictures and videos. It's like 30 degrees over there. You guys are chilling by the pool. I'm kind of mad because I just got back and it was not like that for me. It was cold, but Anyways, hopefully I'm back again in the summertime, but so summer, performances, is there anything lined up for you? Where are you going to be performing in Nashville or elsewhere? What's going on? I'm doing some writer's rounds around Nashville, but I have a show actually coming up Father's Day weekend, 
um, at the Tennessee River Jam in Paris, Tennessee. And um, I'm going to be opening for Big and Rich. So I'm super excited about that. So. Oh, those are a big, that's a big name. Okay. <laughs> so, and if you can find all that information on my website, tickets, all that. So. Oh, that's going to be really exciting. Now, okay, I'm really bad with geography and stuff like this. So how far is this from where you are? It's about an hour and a half from Nashville. Okay, that's not bad at all. That's like a normal drive from here to like Muskoka where I am. Yeah. <laughs> that's all good. That's all good. Um, and now last one, summer. Any activities? What's your favorite activity to do in the summer since we're already on this topic? Yeah. Um, I, I love going to the beach, but since there's no beach in Nashville, on a regular day, usually like swimming. My daughter loves to swim. We always love to be out in the sun, in the pool. That's our favorite thing. Yeah, that's beach, swimming, lakes. I mean, yep. you guys have lots of lakes and you guys had this like really cool, I've seen it a couple years now. I don't know where it happens, but it's like a lake and you guys all get together on boats and you just party on, I think it's Memorial Day. Yes. Party Cove is what it's called. Okay, like that looks so cool. So it's, cool. I've only been there once, I think, but it's in, it's on a, uh, what is the lake called? And it's in Hendersonville and the lake is called, oh man, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank. Well, anyway, it's in Hendersonville and there's a lake right there that's that where that is. That looks like a place to be, I should say. <laughs> It's yeah. a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it'd be a ton of fun. Um, and now, just jumping back to you. So, country music. Uh, honestly, lots of people have different opinions on country music, which is completely understandable. I mean, it's not everybody's forte. Uh, yeah. but what does country music mean to you? To me, I love country music because it's there it's very honest and it's very real and it's very relatable it's very you know what everybody's going through and that's what i've the reason i fell in love with country music to begin with is just listening to songs by loretta and johnny cash and they're just so honest and vulnerable mm -hmm. and that's really what i love about this genre yeah especially johnny cash you nailed that one there his lyrics are just straight out of like a diary. <laughs> like they're hardcore. There you go. <laughs> but that's what uh, country music ultimately is. It's it's really three chords and the truth. Uh, there's so many songs with that line in it, and there's so many songs with that title, and it's just that's that's country music. And country music, you can either gravitate towards it or you can completely gravitate uh, away from it. But I feel like in this day and age. Lots of people are getting involved with country because it's so diverse now. Like we got rap country, pop country, like what's next? Punk country or like I've heard I've heard it already. It's like y'all alternative or something like that is what they're calling it, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess I have to really <laughs> dive deep into this genre now. That's quite interesting. All the things. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, country music is the way to go. I, I'm, we're not being biased or anything. It's not like I'm talking to a country artist and I'm a country personality. It's not like that at all. <laughs> uh, honestly, uh, Chandler, I missed, missed getting to chat with people and I'm so happy that you were the first one back on a Country with Celine. It was so nice to chat with you and I'm looking forward to hearing the EP when it's finally all nice and ready with a nice little bow on it and it's shipped out, hopefully to me. Just, uh, just let me know when it's coming out. Um, and Big and Rich, kill that, please. That's going to be super exciting and I'm sure you're gonna be posting all of that, like leading up to the event and then obviously during it and after the event. So that's something everybody should definitely keep their eye out. And if they're in Tennessee, close to where that is, Go out, why not? I mean, I would if I lived there, but I don't. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. This has been, this has been great. Thank you so much. Let's back it on down to the street limit.